after I was recognized by the UN as the UN person of the year 2017. I got runners up and I made a commitment to be an environment ambassador. On this dump side, we have industrial waste. We have uh, even 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 uh, sometimes Asada's waste. I, I don't know how they find uh, their way because we've been told that some sometimes they bring and dump them uh, at night. But of course, the county government have been very tough again on them, and uh, we have not been able to see. I think for when we came, we've not been able to see now most most of those uh, uh, Asada's waste here at the dump side. So now the, the very interesting story is uh, where we are. Uh, there was a road and it was going directly to the gate outside there. But now with all these hips, you see it's now, you know, it's, it's no longer possible here. So we had to come and now work on West uh, Rehabilitation Hub, which uh, MRF or Material Recovery Facility, which was done by the county government. And uh, of course, it was with the guidance of uh, Takataka Nimali. And this is how I've embarked that journey of Takataka Nimali. But as we take care of the environment, how also can we be able to create value and give value to waste so that we can improve the livelihood of the people who are dealing in that ecosystem of waste management. So when we came here, um, initially the whole place, we didn't have any organization of the waste pickers. And we, we had, they were around uh, 15 waste pickers when we came, both women, uh, men and, and uh, youth as well. They never had ideas, they didn't, you know, it was really hard to even identify who they were. So um, with the help of the first lady, definitely we had to bring them together. Uh, we had to do trainings for them. To even uh, those a day, we had a partnership with uh, NHIF. Uh, they came here and then the first lady and, uh, and our patron, uh, Takani Mali, we were able now to issue the health uh, insurance covers for them. At the moment, we have now more than, when we came in, they were around 15. Right now, we have over 40 of them, 40 uh, waste pickers. And what they do, the value, like I had mentioned, uh, they used to, for PET, it used to be five shillings. But now, when we came in, we were able now to negotiate with recyclers and they're able to buy uh, PET at um, 15 shillings and above. Uh, we've also trained them on issues of um, separation because sometimes you know you have to separate especially with the colors we have those clear we have the the green ones we have the blue so they're able now to separate uh, after the training that we did it was agnes mwende mimi ndio kia pasu niku dam site na nashukuru kwa hii kazi nikiingia hapa asubuhi kifika njeni naenda na mkate wa kila siku na hii kazi imenitoa mbali hiyo watoto wangu anasomea hapa na survive through hapa Mimi nashukuri sana kwa taka ni mali ndio nikikumbuka mali imetutoa first lady kuna madam Mary kuna Elias kuna kina James kuna wengine ah watu wametutoa mbali walitukuta hapa tukikaa hapa kama watu watueleweki atuyu chochote ikabidi hata tukafungua ma account tuko na savings zetu so taka ni mali nashukuri sana imetutoa mbali as we have the CBOs that we have created we then need to have partners who can be able to buy the waste that they have put together so that then we are able to help them to get enough raw material for their recycling and we are able to give resources to our CBOs and grow them as enterprises. So then we are able to achieve our first objective of developing enterprises across waste management. <laughs> ya galia sisi tangu tujuana nao i think less than a year ago tume progress ba, baada ya wao kufundisha watu kule nje kuhusu mambo ya waste and good ways of disposing this waste uh, na kuna vile wanaweza tuletea na wapate kitu at least sisi tumeweza kuinuka uh, uh, inputs zinakuwa mingi kwa hivyo hata machine haizimi kazi yetu kwa hivyo inainuka in one way or another nilikuwa introduced kwa hii kazi na Rose Omarimba so akaniita akaniambia Ruth ni kuna side hustle iko hapa. So akanunua chai pale Pizzaine, tukakula lunch. So ndio akanielezea kuhusu hii mambo ya taka ni mali. So from there nikasikia naweza jaribu. So nikianzia nilianzia kama najaribu nione. 
but akini introduce nilikuwa na kibada ya chakula na pia nilikuwa na uza makaa so nikaanza kuona hii ni kama iko na pesa kuliko yenye nafanya by the, by december nilikuwa nishamaliza na kibada kabisa kabisa na nika saa nikakatu sasa kwa taka taka ni mali mm, but it has been good i can't regret <laughs> Our other objective is to use technology to help improving the environment and also in the area of waste management. And we have built a digital platform and the digital platform is also a platform where we plug in different partners so that we can be able to build efficiency in the waste management ecosystem that we have put together. And I give an example if we are doing payments transactions across the digital platform then we need partners to plug in so that they can be able to actualize or work with us and complete the payment we are doing trainings so we plug in and we can be able to do trainings through the digital platform that we are putting together we plug in organizations that would want to know the traceability of their waste of their packaging materials that went to the environment. We believe we play an important role in waste management, more so electronic waste management, because as a connectivity providing company, we enable a lot of electronics. And being a responsible company means that we ensure that these electronics find their way to a safe disposal. We are strong on empowering and enabling um, other entities to be able to become environmentally friendly. So in terms of partnerships and looking for solutions, we're on that journey with the Takani Mali. We're looking at how can we better enable them to be able to address the waste menace. Another category of our stakeholders are the development partners. We partner with development partners who are looking forward to help or plant a seed in taking care of the environment. So they work with us, they support our groups, so that we can be able to build that ecosystem and we can realize in a sustainable development goals that it's a global commitment that we are all making into and we are able to plug in to give solution for environment and our climate. So that is why we say Takataka taka ni Mali, waste is wealth. 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 Takataka ni mali. Waste is wealth.